Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd show you another update on this Helios uh, build here, and it's uh, it is coming along. I got some uh, good quality time in with it uh, the other day. I still haven't worked on the backside of the ship, but I've been working on a lot of other things going on here, especially this uh, the main hangar and this uh, uh, dropship module bay here. So basically. Um, and these front thrusters, a number of things I've been working on for sure. So I've been doing some uh, some walls and stuff like that, trying to make them look kind of uh, kind of neat, you know, uh, weird little lines and stuff in there, uh, some uh, interior connectivity and stuff uh, on the other side of that. And this uh, front thruster module here on both sides has been updated. Uh, so it actually has a way to go in it now. Um, and inside of here, there's basically a lot of thruster upgrade areas. Uh, now, I have nothing of, of course, textured or detailed or anything like that. Uh, but uh, you can add in a couple more uh, large 2x2x4 uh, two by two by thrusters for strafing in here. And there is a big lift thruster right here that might get manipulated as well. Um, I can't afford too many big XL thrusters on the build stock. Uh, they really require a lot of CPU. So I've been trying to downgrade a lot of stuff, um, even on the reverse thrust. Now, granted, this is all going to be blacked out on the inside, so hopefully that doesn't look terrible. But uh, I'm basically trying to put in a littler thruster stock, but I have a lot of these thruster compartments, or most of them in the ship, just not these two over here. Um, set up to put in XL thrusters at, at some point in time if you're using it, if you got the CPU for that and you need, need more performance. So this whole bay door over here is kind of set up and I added a, a little feature uh, for it as well too. So you can kind of see the uh, the cockpit area into the uh, hangar section and the uh, big dropship module basically parks in here and it uh, lines up really nicely here. I decided to scrap the idea of a hangar door here as well and went with a force field set up um once i i kind of like it better it's got got a little different feel to this one than the uh the first helios um and it's a little more open it's going to remind me uh, uh personally a little bit more of like the helix orbitable or, or orbit orbital not orbital <laughs> it's going to remind me of that kind of uh it used force fields too so when you're out in the hangar and stuff and you can kind of like peer out and look at things and, and whatnot it's, it's just kind of a, a different space um to uh, occupy, I guess. I don't know. I, I, it's a aesthetic I do kind of like. It's, it just feels uh, more open. Um, so a lot of block work on the walls and stuff. I'm trying to make this pattern on either side of the, even though this is kind of asymmetrically done on this whole wall over here. Um, but there's like this, uh, these are probably going to be painted a different color, like maybe like a, a red marker. And there's uh, something like that on the other side of the hanger as well. I guess some of it is kind of symmetrical. And then it sort of loses uh, a lot of the symmetrical stuff in the uh, center section over here. Um, so I got to do the same thing. I got to build some more walls out for a lot of areas of the ship. And then, of course, the uh, module walls, which are important. I do want to do one of those on a video. Uh, I'm going to just call it wall art. Um, as doing something like this, it's uh, especially like a wall like this. First, I want it to look as neat as I can from this side of it. But it's only a, th a single block row. I can't add like additional blocks over the front of it or anything like that. But then I also want it to look nice on the inside. So it's going to be like a two-way wall design. And once I build this one part and texture it, then I can uh, actually use this part um, probably another six times. Um, literally, I'll build this wall out and then copy and paste it around to other areas of the ship uh, for all the regular module base, essentially for the back wall, and it's it's also important too because it has to um, um, fit the uh, the landing gear, which like I have marked out right now that are in these red markers here. This is your uh, landing site, so there'll be an LCD that replaces that. And I decided to use, uh, in fact, I copied the uh, the same hanger the uh, doors off the Helios and put them on here, so we're identical sizes, the same module setup as what the helios has so i'm hoping that just make sure that all existing modules still work uh, at least uh how you know on how the uh, original helios was i also widen this area up by another block so there is a a reasonable amount of space in here uh definitely enough to get through this door from a uh, module and park something into the hangar um 
so that's kind of a another thing so uh, another area i've been working on and this is largely unfinished yet in fact i, I kind of want to redo my hallway design here a little bit but this is kind of a big hallway that goes through the uh to the the first module bay which is over here and this is another one of those walls that's just going to be uh probably copied in place this one's different though this one is unique from the other walls on the other five module bays over here there's an elevator that goes directly up to the uh the flight deck um on on top over here so that's kind of a a bit of a shortcut i guess i wanted to keep it right in the uh functional area of the ship essentially where uh where i believe the uh crew of the ship will be hanging out the most and so as you uh clear that module bay there you've got uh this hallway that wraps around this way right up to the bridge um and this is kind of like early work on the bridge Did a little bit of the blocks here but not not too much yet um just trying to get a lot of the pathing and layout going on so back over behind the bridge in this journal section on this floor is probably going to be the uh the ship's production a again it's going to be kind of light um but I, I i wanted it uh a little more expandable than the first helios the first helios only had the 200 uh 320k bays in them i believe i think it was that yeah uh one one uh ammo and is that what i ran on the helios i don't know um <laughs> anyway that's it's, it's not a not, not a big deal there um and then there's going to be a second floor up in here um and this is going to be obviously a crew area but i'll probably have a a, a room back over here kind of like the helios had as well for uh cpu core upgrade blocks and things like that and that room might be built of a different material than what the uh carbon substrate hall is uh some areas like that are going to be protected a little bit more um like uh you know where the uh, super valuables are or uh big time explodey expensive parts uh, and things like that so in this hallway as well when you come through in here um there is some upgrade slots uh actually up above here i figured um i had the space for it i had nothing else to put there and it was a perfect fit for medium shield parts so i've got a couple medium shield parts there and a couple more uh here um, I got to finish those rooms up, but uh, that'll take uh, some parts that I don't have to put in the rear engineering area, which is probably going to allow for like more of these, uh, another four medium shield parts. And, you know, who knows? I, I think I'm going to have the room to uh, at least install areas to put in uh, a fusion reactor, maybe one um and maybe maybe a couple two three large shield parts as well we'll see how the, all that goes but i i'm thinking there's gonna be a lot of room especially since i'm pulling some of the stuff that was going to go in the back engineering up to the front of the ship um one other thing that i kind of set up um a little bit again it, it needs to be detailed is this is your uh if you want to upgrade your reverse thrusters um you've got two xl bays over here that you can pop in reverse thrusters and there's this little back uh area so you can get up to either one of them and place in the uh the thrusters from inside the ship over here um the way it's set up too in this case you do not have to remove these grates you can just pop in the full size xl thruster exactly how it is uh, i mean of course i would recommend using the angled one uh that kind of matches the angle here but you don't have to either size will fit um but this is just kind of a little utility area kind of right off the uh this hallway here and uh, there's a lot of asymmetrical stuff on the front side of the ship and of course the back side of the ship it's going to be more symmetrical except for those engineering areas because i'm pro probably going to have different parts on uh both different engineering sections um and i haven't really uh moved forward with this engineering area very much yet because i'm not sure if i'm going to keep the uh very similar to the helios design going on here or not i keep on kind of looking for ways to switch it up a little bit more um and of course i'm always always looking for places to put some turrets as well now uh one easy place i can put some turrets on this ship is the back side of it um a lot like the, the helios was an easier target i had uh some turrets on the bottom side of especially that again i'm trying to keep this um for the most part the uh flight deck on top of that un unobstructed which is really hard to find uh places to put turrets on the top side if i do that but i often make it work one way or another it needs to have a uh, a good level or decent level of drone protection on this ship um so I'll, I'll definitely have to get some more turrets on the top side one way or another so i'm looking for opportunities to do that 
and might have to build out some things to do that as well. Uh, a lot of different ways to go about it. Um, so part of my uh, my struggle with building this last part here was trying to figure out how I was going to do this wall and how it was I, was I going to join it to this thruster or was I going to separate it from the thruster. Um, at first I was going to join it, but then I was like, you know, I think it's going to look better if it's a separate piece like it is on this side and not join directly to it. So again, this thruster is the same as the the one on the other side. It's got uh, room to pop in some more strafing thrusters and potentially more thrusters too. Again, there's a big lift thruster in here that I can't afford all the big lift thrusters. It's got four mounted on here right now. And honestly, the CPU is ridiculous for Excel thrusters. Uh, you chew uh, like 2.1 million CPU, you go through like with like eight thrusters and you're it's over you're like out of cpu for a build or i could be wrong on that eight thrusters but i think it's not much more than that um it, it really shoots through cpu um so yeah this back area again i'm thinking about what i want to do if i want to try to keep the design i've got going there it would work and i'd have some pretty big rooms on either side for uh big stuff you know even um you know obviously a lot of thruster upgrade pieces in there but uh, some maybe, you know, originally I wasn't planning on going into the fusion reactor or large shield parts, but I think I've got the room for it and I don't have to put them in stock. So I'd rather have this as expandable as I can make it be um, and not really just say, oh, I don't want to put that on there because I don't feel it's the right class tip for a fusion reactor. Uh, you know, if I got the room, why not? You know, it's, you know, probably the majority of people using it probably wouldn't put that in here but maybe and maybe it would be very beneficial and cheaper to operate it uh, cpu wise with a fusion reactor as opposed to a whole bunch of advanced generators especially if you upgrade all and and get in like the 10 total xl forward thrusters on here um, that chews up a lot of power so you need a lot of generators and things like that of course i'm going to need a bank for advanced generators in here as well uh, that can be expanded. I'll just try to keep it open and people can configure the ship how they want it. Um, but at least one thing, um, again, originally I was, I wanted to put some production in this center area and it was supposed to be smaller than this, but, um, in comments it was brought up, you know, that some modules have some front loading stuff on them and I didn't want to break past modules or make them not compatible with the new Helios. So, um, I could still, try to work out some way of adding like um it doesn't even have to necessarily be filled in with storage but some kind of storage production setup that is uh would still allow vehicles to to drive through here if you were unloading something from a module bay out into the hangar um, so it won't block that off but also try to provide an upgrade option for increased production on the main ship um, in that general area and it's right near all these uh, modules it's like you got five modules that meet up into this uh, particular spot over here um, now also there's going to be more ways up to the flight deck besides a single elevator that i added over here i just thought this was kind of convenient um, and the positioning of this doesn't have to be right where it is either i could move that forward a little bit but i figured it's kind of centrally located um, of course there's probably going to be another one somewhere maybe in the center section or off the back of the uh, the hangar. And of course, another one or two out in the back area of the ship to get, to get you up to the, uh, the flight deck on here. But other than that, I think everything's like moving along pretty good. I'm um, relatively happy with all the stuff that I did do over here with the, the blocks. I, you know, I've been trying to add in some detail, but I'm trying to not go super overboard with it. I'm trying to keep it kind of plausible chopped up but not overly chopped up trying to get a little asymmetrically done things in the process and um one last thing before i end this video here let me just take this thing up and i'll try to dock it i don't have any like any good guides right now to uh mount it in the ship so it's uh, i'll probably screw it up but um let's see how this goes let me uh, turn you on and i'm gonna try to do it in first person right now of course once i oh yeah this thing has some psycho lift thrust on it um so i gotta watch that so essentially speaking let me get the hud on too so i got the little crosshair so what i do know i need to do is i'm not exactly sure on my height but i need to line up at that little whitey blob there this thing uh the uh dropship module because 
it's kind of asymmetrical itself it feels like i should be in the center but it's that's not how this one works that was too far over to one side this will be a lot better once i get to the lcd guides in oh i'm not even lining up to the right what is going on i feel i am way off is this even the right module what am i doing and is there oh i'm way too high i get it i get it yeah, once I got to get better guide markers in here, and that's 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 the important thing. It can be tricky to dock some of these when you're flying blind like this. Um, and I'll definitely try to make this an easier process. But again, uh, I was too high, so let's uh, maybe I got that mark off. Let's see, yeah, okay, we're looking a lot better this time. So right in here, and once you get to the front, you kind of pull up. That's pretty close. So this lands, um, this uh, obviously still has the kind of annoying hangar door on this one. So this lines up pretty good right up to here. And then I don't know what this is for, but you can kind of look down in there and see the, see the docky pilot window thingy. I just thought it was kind of neat and whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that, that's where I'm at right now with it. Uh, actually quite a bit more areas done on here and not to mention i did do a lot of the bottom block work as well on the on this area of the ship the central central area you can see a lot of uh, uh again wall art um uh, most of this is a single block layer some of it's doubled up a little bit uh like in the center but uh, for the most part it's just messing with walls in fact i want to do a video on that uh might even do that this weekend if not like monday um, and do something kind of tricky like I think I, what I really want to do is focus on a two-way wall like a Helios uh, module bay front wall which is actually it's not difficult to do but it's uh, I'll just kind of show you some some methods and trying to get the maximum amount of detail out of both sides of the wall um, and what you know, different things that you can do with walls and stuff like that and you know when you're building big like flat creations like this I mean it's just a way to try to get more detail into it of course every time you mess with everything it, it ups the size class a little bit more uh, if everything was just square blocks it would be a lower size class but size class wise right now in in general specs granted these specs are really invalid at this point in time um, but it is sitting at uh it just touched size class nine right now so i have a feeling it's gonna be you know i was thinking it was going to be a little lower size class than the original helios i'm now thinking that's not correct um it'll probably be pretty close to the same size class again though a lot of areas uh there's not a lot of beyond what i did here in the engineering areas which i have yet to do there's not a huge amount of interior space on here to really uh, do up that size class basically this area here um, and then those two engineering bays and then of course the rest of it's just a bunch of walls and stuff in 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 there um, now one option if I did want to reduce the size class but I don't think I really like this option but I could literally like on the back side over here I could put in another force field on this side too but it doesn't go to anything it doesn't go to the side of a module and I just think it would be kind of confusing um, might save a little blocks but I think I'd rather have just a, a straight up wall there and just keep the, the force fields for uh, places that where modules and things actually park at and not try to confuse the crap out of people on why is there a big force field over here that goes to nothing, you know, kind of thing. Um, so I don't, I don't really want to do that either. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how the size class comes out. Again, I think I... Uh, thinking you know i was going to be around size class 10 or 12 i think that's probably a little bit out of sight already um and it's probably going to be up there about 14 to 16 i'm guessing now the the, the first helios was 14 so hopefully it's right around there um but again you know i'm not really um whether it's 14 or 16 i don't really think it makes any difference to anything so you know i i'm not gonna purposely sacrifice detail if it's uh makes a difference between a couple size classes once you're up above 10 anyway it's really it's just kind of kind of a waste of time there so anyway it'll be uh well under 20 <laughs> put, put it that way it'll be well under size class 20 um and uh yeah i just want to show you where i'm at with it and the, the work that's been done and i'm getting more and more excited about it 
I think this is going to be kind of neat. I, at first, I was a little concerned on the, on the last video, too, when I didn't have the uh, dropship module parked in here. I, I wasn't so sure I liked how I was doing this area here with this frame. But after that inner wall got put in place over on the, on the other side here, it doesn't bother me anymore. Um, and, of course, when the, uh, the module is actually parked in place, it looks pretty like there's a lot going on there. It looks, looks fairly detailed, especially with the module in there. Um, Again, there's going to be a lot of thruster upgrades on this thing, though. I stripped a lot of thrusters out of this right now, but I've got uh, places for, like, a bunch of lift thrusters back over here. There's some more uh, big lift thrusters up here, but I can't keep them all stock. And that that's what really sucks is, is I want to have, so it doesn't look like it flops over, I want to have some kind of thrusters up here, even if it doesn't need them. Uh, technically, for game, it's just, it, it's a visual thing. And, like, if I, if I just had some lift thrusters back here and nothing installed up front. It just, you know, I, I can't get out of my head. If you take off from, from the ground, it looks like you would flip over. You know, you got to have that balance there. So what I'm probably going to have to do is downsize these front thrusters and put in the, the smaller ones there to save a little bit more CPU. Again, I'll have to see how the CPU is coming out on this thing too. Right now, you know, it's, Considering I don't have much on this ship, no shield, no warp drive, no, then not much of anything, probably not even enough generators. It's already kind of up there, um, and you just, yeah, those XL thrusters are killer for CPU, um, especially if you're trying to keep uh, something at a Core 9 spec and, and use those kinds of thrusters. Um, and I definitely want this to be a Core 9 uh, build uh, when you get it. Of course, I'm going to... Hopefully, it'll have just a ton of upgrades where you can certainly get into quantum cores and beyond and keep on upgrading, the, uh, especially the thrusters and maybe some shielding on this um, and things like that. But it's going to need more turrets, too. So I'd like to get about uh, 10, 12 or so turrets on here, um, just cheap ones, you know, ju just to shoot down the drones. No, no offensive turrets, just defensive turrets. And again, it kind of sucks on the range on the sentry guns because that would have been a really nice option. But it seems like they just don't have the range needed for a ship like this to give it nice drone protection, which is unfortunate. I wish I wish they did, or, or there was some option, some kind of like drone, some sentry gun one block uh, type of thing that did have the range that really didn't do anything useful but shoot drones or ground troops um that's really all i will ever want it for um other than that that is uh that is all i've got for today just wanted to get another update video out and show you where i'm where i'm at with this thing and uh work continues and uh, well, i'll try to get a lot more done well, as soon as i get time <laughs> all right anyway y'all have yourself a great day and i will talk to you later